Welcome to the Nicholas 11 X12 technology. Today I'd like to show you the results of the AMD A856 K APU that runs in dual graphics mode or also known as Crossfire with the AMD Radeon HD 6670. The AMD A856 K APU and the Sapphire Radeon HD 6671 GB GDDR5 graphics card were used for this test. You could also watch the separate reviews by me of these two components. But now let's move on to the benchmarks. There you go, as you saw yourself, it seems to be a pretty good idea to pair this A856 k APU up with a discrete graphics card such as the HD 6670 or 6570. In almost every single test there was a huge performance increase compared to the iGPU, in this case the HD 7560D. In some applications or games you might encounter some issues like some weird stuttering, but I believe this can all be fixed in future display driver updates. It's really impressive to see that this A8 APU performed almost as good as the A10 APU with the same graphics card in Crossfire. So if you're looking for a cheaper solution, you might as well also go with the A856 rank K instead of the A10. So in the end, if you'd really like to have an APU, or let's say you just buy the A856 rank K because you have the money right now, but you don't have enough for a proper discrete graphics card, and so you go with the integrated graphics for a while. But later on you have some money to spend on your system and the only way out to get more graphics performance would be to get yourself a HD6670 to pair it up with the APU. Because buying the HD6670 comes a lot cheaper that way and you can still use the present integrated GPU performance. So you don't have to change the APU slash CPU and motherboard. The power consumption is a little higher, roughly 20% on load, but still you almost get the same graphics performance as you would with the A10 running in dual graphics, and compared to that one, still the power consumption is roughly 10% lower on load with this A8 APU, so that's very impressive. So as long as the weird stuttering in some games gets fixed and future display driver updates, I definitely recommend this type of a configuration, especially if you already have this APU. And to be honest, in terms of the price performance ratio and the performance per watt, well this A8 5600K scales better than the A10 5800K in dual graphics. But if you need more performance, well then the whole dual graphics technology may not be the best choice for you. So I really hope this video could help you and maybe you've already made up a decision. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.